I'm proud to announce this video is sponsored by Margin Hobby. Get the best tools for building your model kits delivered directly to your door and save 10% off when you use discount code PT10. Link in the description. Check it out. What's going on everybody? Plamo Therapist here and today I'm happy to show you guys the entire build process for my MG Curios. Now I built this kit as my contribution to something known as the Cerulean Project. Now for those of you who don't know what the Cerulean Project is, it's a compilation of many creators works in order to bring awareness to mental health issues within our community. Now as someone with a mental health background, I thought this was the perfect project to support as it brings awareness to something that I'm very passionate about and I felt like it would be a great way to segue into my new style of discussing mental health topics with you guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As I mentioned before, the Cerulean Project is bringing awareness to mental health issues. And one of the greatest ways we can bring awareness to mental health issues is by normalizing the conversation around mental health topics. Now, because certain stereotypes have been allowed to persevere for so long, the idea of seeking mental health therapy or help or counseling has been relegated to only those who are severely ill. When in fact, the truth is, anybody should be able to seek mental health help because at some point in our lives, we're all going to experience something we don't know how to process or we don't know how to cope with. In situations like these, therapists give us tools and techniques to help us manage these problems, just like how doctors give us diagnoses and medications to manage illnesses. And to further illustrate this point, what I like to say is that when we first start to get sick and we start to feel some things that are not right, we see a doctor right away. When our teeth are starting to hurt or we're feeling some pain, when we eat, we call our dentist right away. And so why can't we do the same thing for a therapist? You know, why do we have to wait till we're in a crisis situation to decide that, hey, maybe I should go seek professional help. And so what I'm trying to say is that, you know, seeking a therapist shouldn't be a life or death situation. It should be something that we make as normal as seeing a doctor or a dentist, you know. We keep our bodies healthy by visiting the doctor, making sure everything's okay. We make sure our teeth are in good working order and there aren't any cavities when we go see a dentist. Why can't we do the same for our minds and going to see a therapist? Now, when it comes to normalizing the conversation around mental health, seeing a therapist isn't the only way that we can normalize a conversation. Simply by opening up to our friends, our families, our loved ones, people that we know, we like, and we trust is a great way to normalize that conversation. You know, for some people, it may be really hard to talk about your feelings. It may be hard to talk about what's bothering you, but reaching out and taking that time to let people know that you are having a hard time or you are struggling is a great way to start to open up that conversation to let people know that you do need help from time to time. Let them know that, hey, maybe you don't quite know how to go about this situation or maybe you want some feedback on whether or not you made the right decision. It's perfectly fine to talk to other people about what's going on in our lives. When we close ourselves off to the rest of the world, we're closing ourselves off to enjoying things that make us happy. We're closing ourselves off to the possibilities of outside ideas coming in and changing the way that we think to address a problem that we may have been stumped on for days, weeks, or even months. So when it comes to normalizing the conversation about mental health, just talk to your friends. Start there. Start with your closest friends. Start with somebody that you care and you trust that you know is going to love you no matter what. And it doesn't have to be a big thing. It can be something small. You can just go up to them and be like, hey, can I talk to you about something? I'm having a really rough day or had a really tough situation and I don't know how to process it. And I want to know if I did the right thing. And just by simply asking somebody, you're letting them know that you're counting on them, that you want to rely on them for certain things. And so talk to people, just get a feel for people. You know, you'll be surprised at who's going to be there for you, who's going to be willing to open up and who's going to be willing to just sit down and listen to you. Don't be afraid to open up to that person. And if you don't find that person on the first try, keep going. Eventually, you'll find somebody. And if you absolutely cannot, then maybe it's time to seek that professional help and get somebody that is there to listen to when you need help. So let's bring this back to the Gumpo community. When we have something that we all share in common, we immediately start to develop connections to people we otherwise normally wouldn't have because we haven't taken the time to make those outside connections. And so by sharing this common interest, this common hobby, we have a social network that we can rely on when we need help. 
if we have issues with our builds we can reach out to those in our community for suggestions for tips or for tricks you know we can reach out to people saying hey i'm getting frustrated or i'm having a hard time with this build and people can be either the problem solver that you need at the time or they could just be the pep talk that you need to keep going and to finish that project up you know and this curios project was kind of a hard one for me you know i wasn't feeling the color scheme when i initially got started in it but people kept telling me to keep going and you know i it it grew on me it became so much it became so much nicer in my head once i really started to get some of that paint down and really started to put some of the pieces back together and so this is a great demonstration of how just having this community and just opening up when you need help is a great way to start just get used to talking to people when you need help because ultimately seeking mental health help is just simply talking to somebody getting our feelings off our chest and getting comfortable with knowing what we're feeling and being okay with those feelings So bringing it back to the Cerulean project, we as a Gumpla community and as plastic model builders, we have this ability to cope with and manage our stresses. You know, this hobby is a great outlet in letting us control a situation completely and entirely. It gives us a space where we can express some creativity that we so desperately need to create in our lives. And it gives us a way to just stop thinking about the things that are bothering us and focus on something that we absolutely love. Now, the Cerulean project is for the people that maybe they don't have that. Maybe they don't appreciate model key building like we do, and maybe they don't have the tools or the strategies to manage their stress. By supporting the Cerulean project, you're giving people the opportunity to seek and find the things that they can do to manage their stress. We're giving them the opportunity to find those tools that are going to help them with whatever problems they may be facing. So. I'm extremely happy to be supporting this project. I'm extremely happy to contribute to this because if I can't reach somebody and help them, I hope that maybe someone else can. And if I can support them doing that, I'd be more than happy to do anything to help people realize that there are people out there that are willing to help you. There are people that are out there that are willing to listen. And there are people out there that care. So what are my key takeaways for this video for you guys? Well, I think the first takeaway is to just accept that, you know, everybody has feelings and no matter who you are and no matter what you're going through, you know, there's going to be situations that you might have a strong feeling towards, or there may be a situation you just don't know how to process and you don't know what to do with. And that's, that's, hurt, that's kind of bothering you. And it's okay. We are all human. There are going to be times that we don't completely understand. There's going to be situations that we don't fully grasp the gravity of. And seeking mental health help is perfectly fine for those situations. And it doesn't even need to be professional help. It's sim simply talking to another person about the situation, getting another person's feedback may, all, may be the only thing that we need. So don't think of taking mental health help as a sign of weakness. Don't think of it as, you know, you're not capable of managing your problems. What you're looking at is you're seeking professional help for something that is just as normal as a cold. You're seeking help for something that's just as regular as a toothache. You know, situations arise where we don't know how to respond to them. It happens to everybody all the time. And by seeing professional help, we can get the tools, we can get what we need to be able to address those situations so that it doesn't become a problem. It becomes something that we can deal with and it becomes something that we're not afraid of. Because ultimately, when it comes to things that we don't know and we don't like, such as talking about mental health, we're simply afraid. Don't be afraid to talk about it. Don't be afraid to reach out and open up because if we let that fear take over us, we're never going to be able to conquer these problems and we're never going to be able to start to get better. With all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found some value in this video and that you guys would begin to open up talking about your mental health with someone you love, someone that you're close to. And if not, maybe you're willing to take that leap into talking about somebody like a professional. But anyway, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next one.